to talk about discharge paste, which is a very interesting product that you use with natural fiber fabrics, dark colors or hand dyed fabrics. Some light colors work. And this is a product that you can apply with a rubber stamp, with a silk screen, with a brush directly onto the fabric. You can see as I pour it out, it kind of has the consistency of yogurt or pudding. And the way it works is you apply this to your fabric, let it dry, press it with a hot steam iron, and the combination of the hot steam and the product pull the color out of the fabric. So let me show you how to use it using a rubber stamp. I'm going to take a sponge brush and I really like to get that sponge brush loaded up with the discharge paste. So I'm going to kind of just work it a little bit so that it soaks in. And then for a rubber stamp, the trick is I tap, 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 tap. And this is a rubber stamp that I carved and it's got a really bold design and I kind of hold it up to the light. Oh, I don't like it when it gets caught down in the grooves because then it'll look mushy. So there's a fine line about what is too much, what is not enough. And if I'm going to put this onto my, this, this is a rayon linen blend. So put it down, kind of lean onto it, but you don't want to move the stamp. Oh, that looks pretty good. So I can see that I've got a fair amount of the, of the product on my fabric. This is one of my favorite stamps. It's a packing foam that came around a chair leg I bought. But can you see how I can load that up with the dye discharge and then just put this on the silk organza. So another way I use uh, the dye discharge, particularly with organza, is I make a window. So I might take, I take a piece of, this is clow chalk that I'm using. It's this wonderful chalk that when it's pressed it disappears. So I can draw right on my fabric. And then I paint with the discharge paste. Just lay it on in the window. Don't worry about going outside the lines. It makes it more interesting. It can make it more interesting. You can get a, oftentimes a little drop will fall. I like those. But there you go. No sooner I say it than it happens. So that'll just, I'll just leave that there. So what will happen when I press this is that this will turn a lighter color. The mystery behind this is you never know what color is going to come out behind it. So I love this silk screen. It got a hole in it. Can you see that? It's good. I put a, just put a piece of masking tape on it and it repairs it just fine. So. I'm going to take my discharge paste and apply it to the silk screen. So I like to have the brush nicely loaded up. It's okay if extra discharge paste sits on top. I'll clean my screen later. It takes a long time to dry. So you've got a long working time when you're screening with the, with the discharge paste. It's not like the paint that dries almost instantly. And then carefully peel up the silk screen. Oh, nice. So I got a very nice image coming from that. The brush itself is a tool that you can use. So you can, um, you can use the brush to make stripes. You can use the brush to make just little brush strokes. You can spin it and get kind of an abstract dot. So uh, the brush itself can add some interesting effects. Let's take a look at what happens with uh, dye discharge. So here's the area that I blocked out, complete with boo-boo. Notice what happens if 
I hold the iron in one place. See how the grid mark of the iron shows up? But if you keep your iron moving, you'll get a more even effect. Boy, that came out great. So there's a little blob that landed on the organza. So that was a that was a stamp. These were brush marks. So you can see the areas where there was a big concentration of the discharge. It really pulled all the color out. And then there are other areas where it might have beaded up on the surface or who knows. Um, but I love that, that it's so irregular. Here's a lighter color. See how the color emerges. And sometimes it emerges slowly. And I've done just a little all over pattern on this piece. Oh boy, that is beautiful. So it's, it's really gorgeous on dark colors, but it's beautiful on light colors as well. I'm really playing with yardage, and so I've started discharging the yardage. So here's a motif. Now I'm going to layer something else on top of this. So if we look at this motif where, oops, didn't take somehow in the middle. So that just kind of leads me into the next design area because I'll probably add something that will um, cross over that. So see, I would just press this whole piece of fabric to pull the color out. And then this is going to be probably be a beginning for something else. Although one of the things I love about the dye discharge is what happens when you fold a sheer fabric on top of itself. And then you get kind of this shadowy, murky, beautiful.